Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for a heyday video. Now today's video is going to be focusing on the Easter Farm Pass that we were told about in the Dairy News, or at least some of the information you were told about. I'm going to tell you everything and show you exactly what's going to be coming in this Farm Pass for the month of April. Now as we slide on into the game itself, please remember that there are three parts to the actual Farm Pass itself. There's the initial Farm Pass, there's the Party Pass, and then there is the Festival Pass. There's both the Paid road and the free road and each road has a specific amount of points that you need to get now the basic road is the farm pass and as you progress along those roads you'll be getting coins you'll be getting experience points and you'll be getting some of those chick vouchers as well in addition to a lot of other goodies that are available from expansion materials puzzle pieces etc additionally you've also got the chance to get some boosters now there are both regular boosters and there are the brand new super boosters as well so enjoy the usage of those as they go to your story and you start developing your farm a little bit more. Now for me I do like the perks a lot more. There are a variety of perks that come within the actual pass itself, especially on the paid road, that make the game much more comfortable for me as I play it. Now for the free road you're going to be getting the building boost. Now I like the building boost because it adds those extra slots to specific buildings that I can pick and choose from. And for me that is very handy indeed, especially for certain events. Additionally as well, if you are somebody who is in a neighbourhood, you've got the opportunity to donate diamonds to certain team members you just click on the icon and then those diamonds will go to your hoodies now what's the more important for me within the pass is the easter deco or the deco that's coming within the game we've got hats we've got fences we've got chick deco there's existing decoration coming back and there's path pieces as well now these items will be on both the paid road and the free road but which is which and what do they look like? Let's go and look at those. Now the first one I'm going to cover is the Yard Deco. This comes on the actual paid road. And this is where you have the opportunity to use those blueprints that you've gotten within the Easter event to upgrade certain of the custom decoration. And I like that, so let's show you how I do it. Now if you can see down here, I got a lot of Yard Decoration from previous events and previous activities. I'm in the Dev Build at the moment. I'm going to place all of these down here so you can actually have a look at what they look like. There's a lot of really cool decoration decoration and I do like it so as you watch what I'm doing here enjoy 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 now for me the reason I like the custom decoration is the fact that I can actually pick and choose the designs I want to go with and I'm very partial to these ones and I don't always like upgrading them to the full stage as you can see who had some of these designs even though they do look very beautiful indeed I think it's cool enough like with my main farm itself just to only upgrade them to let's just say the table and chairs without going any further and then placing those around the cafe machines or the coffee kiosk or something like that just to make it more interesting or if you wanted to make a beautiful garden for your visitors to come and enjoy a barbecue behind the farmhouse or just off to the side of the farmhouse now you take the main decoration you start spending your coinage and then you can pick and choose how you want the design to go for now as you can see from here there's quite a few choices you can go back any time but once you've actually gone to the next stage by spending the coins the vouchers or the blueprints you can't go back from that design so up until this point you can change it but from that point onwards you are stuck with that design but it's okay we get a lot of these decoration anyway now I'm very partial to these ones myself I've got a lot in my collection here also within my main farm itself and I do enjoy upgrading them as you can see now if you were to choose them what would you do now you can see the blueprints down there and the vouchers those blueprints are the ones you've been getting within the game a lot of players have been saying like how do I use these what are these for this is where you can actually use those blueprints beautiful blueprints within the game now there are limitations I'm in the dev build so I can have a lot more than regularly held within the game in the past I've had more than the regular amount especially when they refunded me after the game crashed and reset all my designs but I'm back to the limit now and then once you've upgraded you've got a beautiful design as you can see there <gasps> doesn't it look lovely I'm going to share some nice photos of this rearranged later just for you to have a look at but that's the design I've just completed with the one from the farm pass gorgeous if I do say so. 
Now, as we move away from the yard decoration, we're going to look at the rest of the deco. But first of all, let's actually do the decoration that is on the free road. Now, there are a couple of items on the free road. All of these are existing decoration. And we are going to start off with the first piece, which is those beautiful Easter tiles. Now, on the free road, you will get 10 of these. So 10 of these tiles added together is nice, if I do say so. You can do something a little bit creative with that one. The next one you got down there is the egg painting. Heyday asked us what we would like to add in on the free road for the Easter decoration. Personally, I chose the new decoration, which we're getting on the paid rows, but a lot of you chose this one and the egg fountain. Now, I do like the animation for both of these, and I'll show you a little bit of this just towards the end of the decoration where you can see what they actually look like uh, when they are working within the game. But let's get on to the paid road. Now, the paid road starts off with the carrot fencing for me. Now, I like these carrot fences. Uh, again, I'll show you what they look like when you join them together. Personally, I wish I could have lost the eggs from the front there, but they're very nice and cute, and they go very well with some of the other Easter decorations, especially the character designs. You've got the Merry Pranksters, that will be the first decoration you've got there, and I do like the squirty water coming from the flower, so yay, let's play. Next one down there is the Easter Bunny Balloon. This is an existing one within the game, and that is coming back into the game, and I know a lot of you have asked me about this one and requested this one as well. Now, I like this one, so I'm looking forward to getting another one of those. The last one down there is the excellent bed. This is another one of those chick decorations and that will be added to my collection of chick deco we've got. Right, let's show you what they look like within the game. So we go on over into the dev build again. I place down a lot of decoration, uh, plus some of the other deck pieces that are available within the game or will be gotten a little bit later as well, as per Greg's farm. You can see there the carrots, you can see all of the decoration we are getting, you can see the size comparison as well. There's the actual mischievous chicks, you've got the egg bed down there, you've got the egg painting, so size comparison, you can see what they look like. The actual chick ones itself are like really, really tiny. You've got the balloon there at the back there, which I do like, and again, size comparison is very, very good indeed. I think of the decoration that is existing and coming back, this is definitely a favourite one of mine. Now, I've already got one, a second one would be very nice indeed. The tiles itself are very pretty. Personally, it's not for me. I don't really like those that much, but I do like the actual fountain. And I'd love to have one of these in a hotel with me now, dipping my marshmallows and enjoying the chocolate. I like the strawberry one a lot more than I do the chocolate one, but that's for a different thing. Right, so these are the egg fences, joining those together. They don't really make any special patterns or combinations, it's just like a regular fence, uh, and in whatever angle you place them at, they do look very cool indeed. Combining them with the other Easter decoration, you can make a very wonderful design, so go for it. Right, now speaking of changing, we've got some carrot hats. Now these ones will be for your livestock, and this would relate to the cows, the sheep, the pigs, etc. Now personally, I wish we had some other clothing for other animals as well, but at the moment it's just the livestock so let's show you what they look like now I've got all of the livestock pens down there ready for you within the dev build and I'm going to place the hats down so you click on the pen slide down the actual brush find the hats that you're looking for in this case and then add it to the animal and then say confirm they will then get dressed you then go to the next animal do the same thing again and you can see from all these videos what they actually look like as well. These ones are the beautiful pigs. Next one you've got down there are the gorgeous sheep. And I do like the sheep with these ones. That looks kind of cool indeed. Next one down there is the goats. For goats, I kind of prefer the Halloween costumes a lot better than I do the hats. Now, the chicks do look cool in this one. I like the way that they move their head left, right, backwards and forwards. Whatever position. So, they are the hats for the animals. Right, now, you've just seen that decoration let's get on into the next part of the video and in this case I'm going to ask you please slide along to the green box at the end of the shop before you actually make your purchase for the farm pass and type in a creator code now my code is red knight r3dknight it lasts for seven days so check the sieve to make sure that you are supporting now there are a couple of ways to purchase these farm passes one is from the in-game shop when you open up the in-game shop you'll see two farm pass choices one is for the regular farm pass and one is for all roads now if you want to buy just the main farm pass itself that is 
okay. If you want to buy two of them, you need to do a different way, but if you want to buy all three, that is fine as well. You can only get one before you can get the other, and so on, so buy the first, then get the next, then get the third, or buy all three in one go. You can pick and choose what you would like to do. Now, personally, I think getting all of the farm passes this time is a good idea. Now, if you are looking to save a little bit of money, okay, especially with farm passes, head on over to the Heyday Supercell store. Again, if you want to go on this one, there is a specific link you need to choose, and once you get to the Supercell store, you can make those purchases. Now, I will include the link down below in the video as well, in the video description. Click on that one, and that will also allow you to support me by using the creator code Red Knight. Now, within that store, you can buy the Farm Pass bundle, or you can buy the basic Farm Pass itself, which is a little bit discounted, which is very nice indeed. Also, this way, you can donate to any of your Supercell ID friends if you wanted to. Now, this is the Farm Pass. Is it worth getting? I'm going to slide on through the whole road of the Farm Pass here, so you can have a look at what's actually coming. Now, for this month of April, I think it's actually worth getting because of the decoration, uh, both existing and brand new, plus all of the perks as well, the experience points, the puzzle pieces. So for me, this farm pass is probably a little bit more rewarding than I feel the last one was. I do like the fence posts. I'm hoping to grab a few of those on that actual paid road. It's a shame there's no fence posts on the free road. You're just getting the tile, so please be aware of this observation as you are going through. But that is the farm pass, everybody. This is the one that's coming for the month of April. Will you be buying it? Will you be working your way along? Now, remember from the schedule, they did say that the farm pass starts on April the 1st, and there is a double point event on the first day. Now, usually it's Friday, so I'm very surprised, and I'm waiting on actual confirmation on this again. Now, in the meantime, again, please do support me. Code Red Knight, R3DKNIGHT. Tap on the C, it will jump you straight to the icon in the shop. Or support one of your other content creators that you like from any of the Supercell games. Right, that's it, me finished. I'm working towards my goal of 75,000. Thank you very much for subscribing to me. Remember, if you haven't already done so, please also subscribe to the Heyday channel itself because there's a gorgeous event in game at the moment where we can all get a nice decoration. I'll see you next time. You take care, have fun, and happy Easter. Bye now.